What's going on guys? I hope you guys are excited about your origin story and flushing your origin story and crafting your origin story. I hope you're fired up about knowing and digging into your origin story. I hope it was therapeutic for you guys. Um, I know it was therapeutic for me. It just helped me identify myself and my origin, where I come from, right? So now we're gonna go into part two, which is your journey of findings. So I would say the origin story is like from when you can remember as a kid all the way up until you're a teenager. Um, but the journey of findings is different, okay? The journey of findings is when you're around 18, 17, depending on where you were in life, but it goes to virtually maybe that time, maybe until your late 20s it could possibly go, right? And in this discover, you know, this, this journey of findings, you're discovering, one, your true self. Your true self. And what does that mean? As a kid, we are molded by our parents and the things they do and how they live their lives, their religion, um, their thoughts, their way of life, how they look at the world. Now, in your journey of findings, what's happening is you're starting to discover who you are, your true self, okay? Your true self. No more parental control, right? You go out into the world and you have to discover your true self. Now, with no more parental control, what does that mean? Right? Does, does it mean your parents are not around? Does it mean you don't get advice from your parents? No. It's just that you are no longer under your parents' household and you are out in the world. So you have to figure out what values to take and what values to leave. Okay? And that's where this right here comes into place no more parental control so now whether you are um taking a year off uh what do they call it a gap year and you're going to travel or you did that or you went to college right how did that start to shape you when you were out in the world without parents. So <laughs> one thing that happens to a lot of people is they're under so close care of their parents that when they do get here, they just go wild and they turn up, okay? For me, specifically, I was a person that was a little bit earlier out of my parents' eye, okay? Because I was always trying to discover who my true self was, okay? So, no more parental control. The question is, what, what did you do? Okay? In trying to find your true self without that parental control. Seeking happiness and fulfillment. At this time, we think just getting out of the house is gonna make us happy because I wanna live my own life, right? I'm just, I just need to get away from my parents. I want to live my own life. So we think that in itself is going to make us happy. And that's what we're seeking. We're seeking independence. But then we also are seeking fulfillment. Because when we go to college, what happens? 
we get this idea of what we want to do and what we want to be and that's where we are fulfilled so the question in the framework that you have to that you will apply and ask yourself right now is what did happiness I'm sorry look like and what made you fulfilled during your journey of findings because all of this right here is pure research of you discovering your true self okay for me seeking happiness seeking happiness for me was to be independent playing in basketball in college on scholarship going towards my ultimate goal to become a professional basketball player that was happiness to me was being in college playing basketball the fulfillment what made me fulfilled what made me fulfilled was actually doing it actually being at Bethune Cookman where they had the shooting machine, the gun, where I could work on my shot, where practice I'm getting in reps so I can become better ultimately to get to my actual goal was, was to become a pro. So that's what made me fulfilled. Now, now you go to embracing the failures and success. How, how did you fail? This is simple for me because my first failure was when I went to a school right out of high school, it was a junior college, area community college. A coach told me to come to this school, right? And 10 games into the season, this coach leaves for a bigger job. But that's not the story. The story is, out of high school, I knew this coach. And this coach trained me throughout the summer. I used to go there before, we, before I even enrolled in school. So what did I have? I had a relationship with that coach. He's the first coach that ever trained me, telling me things to do so I was getting ready for what was to come in the season. But he also was telling me how good I was and how good I could be. The failure came not when he left. The failure came when I quit because I became a victim. From that story, I told you. I became a victim. He told me to come to this school. He told me to that I was going to be good. He coached me. But then he left me. Right? That's when the failure came in. Looking back, the perspective is he went to get a better job. I still have that relationship. How about I do well here in order to get there? May have changed my complete trajectory if I looked at it that way, right? That's failure, success. Going on a road to North Carolina, St 
still, even with almost two years of downtime and quitting the first year and then my grades bad the second year, the success was going on even to this place right here, North Carolina, where I went to just an open run in, at a school in Charlotte and success came when I did good at that open run and JCU, Johnson C, JC, Johnson C. Smith, JCSU, Johnson C. Smith University from me going to that open run wanted to give me a scholarship, okay? That was success. I never went to Johnson C. Smith University, but that landed me at Clinton Junior College in South Carolina. For you, you have to figure out in your story when you would embrace failure and success, okay? I had to comb through and I had to embrace, I had to figure out how I, how I failed at this point, journey of findings, when I quit, and then I had to embrace the success that I went on there to, to open run at John C. Smith, which got me another scholarship, okay? Uncovering purpose. At this point, do you really have purpose? My purpose, my thoughts, was basketball. Just that simple. So everything does not have to be intricate and because it's all going to mold into the complete story of the hero which be, you become that complete package in part five when <laughs> you're discovering the actual hero, okay? Now, we can break away from parental control, okay? In slide two, shaping your own life. How? How did you, how did you shape your own life after breaking away from parental control? Me, personally. I was a certain way, okay? I was a certain way. I did things differently from what I was nor what was normal in my own house, right? One of the things I can say is I was very or oh I was very organized and my household growing up is very very chaotic very very chaotic things everywhere what that did when I broke away from parental control I was very organized now how does that go into my hero story because in business now I am very organized with how I do my business, okay? So that's why all of these things, all of these parts is very, very important because it all leads to something else, right? It all leads to shaping your own life. How did you shape your own life? And I'm just giving one example, okay? Exploring different paths, right? Religion, let's talk. My father's religion was Muslim. My mother's religion was Christian, okay? The different path that I took was neither. The only, the only thing I wanted to do was do the right thing in all circumstances and be a good person. So that's how, just an example of how I took a different path, okay? Success or failure. Yes. Yes, because still to this day, 
I don't really get into the organized religion, okay? It's not a thing for me. But I still, to this day, want to do the right thing in all circumstances for people. More spiritually, to say, hey, I want to be treated. I want to treat people the way I want to be treated, okay? These are my journey of findings. Again, happy or fulfillment from breaking away. Man, it was I, I was compl I was happy. I was happy. Why? Because I started to see things that neither of my parents ever seen. Going on this journey of findings through to different universities playing basketball, to meeting different people doing different things. Right? So, yes, that made me happy. It started to open me up to more of the world. Fulfillment, of course. I'm fulfilled because I'm doing what I love every single day, all right? And that's from breaking away from that parental control. So every day, I'm playing, I'm playing ball happy, meeting different people, having different experiences, building different relationships, okay? If I stayed in Buffalo, guess what? I would have never broke away from that parental control. I had to completely break away, leave, in order to break away from that parental control. Okay, so let's go through the next three slides. Exploring different paths. Can you give a story around, ex around a new experience, okay? That you had during your journey of findings through that, during that time, okay? Stepping out of your comfort zone. How did you step outside your comfort zone, okay? Failure or success. Failure or success is a going theme in the hero story because you need to gauge, did you believe it was a failure or did you believe you had success? And this is very, very important because failure is a perspective, but also success is a perspective. When you think of failure, you may have learned okay when you think of success you may think you won okay but when you look back at it through your hero story in the framework do you look at it different now than you did then and that's why you go through the journey of findings because you're finding these things so let's talk about new experiences. First thing that comes to my mind is Bethune Cookman, the black college experience. What a time, what a time. That new experience, no one in my family could attest to, except for me, still to this day, okay? In the beginning of the year, after practice, after you've been uh, doing open runs and things like that, to just sit outside the gym and watch the band play. And it's just a complete congregation of people, you know, talking and, having fun watching the band is just amazing the best having the best band in all of hbcus at the time to be there watching this as they practiced for the games and for their competitions that's the story around the new experience for me 
actually seen what it was to be a Division I athlete, right? Brand new experience for me. Stepping out of my comfort zone. How did I step out of my comfort zone? Man, so many ways I stepped out of my, my comfort zone during, during this time, okay? What's the first one that I think of when I stepped out of my comfort zone? Because I was always working out. I think this at this time, stepping out of my comfort zone, I was open to to the thought that I had a learning disability, okay? I was open to that thought because before any of going to any of these schools or anything, I suppressed it. No, I don't know. But the fact is, I do, right? That doesn't mean I'm stupid. <laughs> it just means I learn differently. So I had to step out of my comfort zone and embrace that my coaches knew that, okay? And you will do the exact same thing, exploring different paths. What's a story around your new experience that you had? How did you step out of your comfort zone? Okay? Failure or, or success, if we're talking about this black college Bethune-Cookman experience, I'm going to say For me, failure was hiding the fact that I dropped a class and that class ultimately wound up making me in ineligible, okay? That class made me ineligible and ultimately ended my time at Bethune-Cookman. It wasn't immediately, but that was the failure. After being granted three years to play because of this, the learning disability, I dropped a class and that class made me ineligible because I didn't complete that class. It's a complete failure. Journey of findings. What does that do? That makes me not hide anything. Makes me open in my journey of findings, moving forward, not hiding anything, okay? Even if it hurts, I have to tell you, okay? In my journey of findings though, I would have never, <laughs> I would have never if I didn't go through this framework, okay? Success, how did I win? I won because I found out every day In practice, I belonged in D1 and could be a pro, okay? That was the success. 
by finally getting to that level, by finally matching up with players that have been doing it for four years, five years, and me still being better with zero experience at this level, the success was I knew I could be this. Okay? How does that line up for you? How does that, that failure, can you identify that failure? And you have to dig deep, okay? Dig deep and then identify the success or identify one or the other, okay? Seeking the fulfillment, reaction, sad. Happiness. I knew I could play, but where and how do I start to try to play again? Fulfillment. Well, for me, the fulfillment came from continuing the dream, keeping the dream alive. That was how I continued to be fulfilled is by keeping the dream alive, okay? My reaction? Sad. Man. Confused. What's next? Okay? And all of this, what, what am I doing? I'm seeking this fulfillment. Okay? And that's what you need to do. From your exploring the different paths, Okay, your new experience, stepping out of your comfort zone, failure or success in that, seeking fulfillment, what was the reaction, happiness, and how did you become fulfilled? Okay, and understand, this is, <laughs> this is deep stuff. You have to go deep within yourself. You understand, you see, this was deep. This was deep. But I'm sharing this with you because I want you to go deep, okay? So we're getting to the next uh, slides in the journey, and this is all in journey of findings, <laughs> right? So we'll get into the next slide right now. Okay, man, this is good stuff. This is very, very good stuff. And I promise you, I promise if you utilize what we're doing in your journey and you're honest i promise you by the end of this course you will go to the next level i promise you like i have done so many things and it's because of this framework not even knowing that i'm doing it okay and so much time put into that journey okay and that's why I said, man, this is so good for me. I need to share it, okay? Now, and this is, like I said, this is just a journey of findings, you know? It's not deep. We're digging deep, but we're still, we're, 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 we're still climbing through the, the, the tunnel, okay? Now, on this last slide, we're moving towards self-awareness, okay? Moving towards self-awareness. Reflecting on that journey right here, journey of findings, everything that we've done so far to come to this point, reflecting on that journey. For me, I'm saying I, st I still I still have hope, right?
I achieved being a D1 athlete, even though I did not play a game, I was a D1 athlete, okay? So I'm reflecting on that journey. That black college experience can never be taken away. Reflecting on that journey, where I went wrong in hiding that I dropped out of the class, okay? Embracing my true self, okay? I'm embracing that I'm a dog. And when I say I'm a dog, that means I'm going after my dreams. Okay? I can embrace that. But I also can embrace that I have some confidence issues why I would hide what I hid. Okay? And that's inside of my true self at this journey of findings. Okay? It's more to embracing my true self I can write down as well. But I'm just using this as, as examples for you so, as a guide so you can do the same thing. Like I, like I said... Look, moving towards your self-awareness, which is so important, right? You have to be, you have to be self-aware. You have to be self-aware because you can't sit in the mirror and lie to yourself, okay? Embracing failure plus success, okay? I have to embrace that I failed because the goal was to graduate and play three years at Bethune. I had to I have to embrace that. Success. The only success that I took out of it is that I was better as a player. More more confident as a player, okay? You will do the same thing. Embrace this. Embrace the failure and embrace the success. Embrace the failure, okay? Happiness plus fulfillment. How were you happy and how were you fulfilled? Again, again. Happiness. Finally, I knew I was good enough. Okay? Fulfillment. I'm still young. 
I can still do this, okay? In this stage, how were you happy? How much? How did you have happiness, and how were you fulfilled? What was your point of view during that? You know, during that time in your journey of findings, uncovering your purpose. Still, at this point, at this point, for me, still, my purpose is to play. basketball okay so at my journey of findings point of view I am still purpose that I'm uncovering is to play basketball I have no other purpose during this time in my journey of findings other than still to play basketball and to become a Pro. It's my purpose in life to become a pro basketball player. That is my purpose. Okay? You have to uncover what during the journey of findings was your purpose. Okay? This is good stuff, guys. This is good stuff. This is good stuff. This is good stuff. So that is the end of part two of the hero story framework journey of findings i really really hope that you guys are really excited about what you are uncovering up until this point from origin story to your journey of findings and i'm hoping and i'm going to help you if you if you have not started seeing the results up until this point because you should start seeing the results and thinking how to implement even from part one and part two into your hero story that you are going to use moving forward, whether it's your personal brand or whether it's within your business that you're building the hero story from, okay? Um, this is deep. This is deep and you have to dig deep within yourself in order to pull it out. If not, it doesn't work. If you're not self-aware, it will not work so make sure you are digging deep so we can get the maximum um the maximum achievement from every single part of the hero story framework because this is a complete transformation from origin story all the way to becoming the hero you're digging within yourself it's a fight where you have to be honest though with yourself. So I hope you enjoyed the journey of findings and we'll go to uh, part three. Thank you.